Kia ora tato. Uh, before I start, just a, a shout out to Donovan. Uh, let's get a medical school here, please. We need one. Uh, my daughter's graduating medical school in Otago this year. She's staying there. She's working with Naitahu, which makes me proud, but it'd be good to have her up here anyway. So <coughs> shout out to Donovan and the, and the medical team, but I'll, I'll get on to my gig. Right, uh, well is, oh circles again, sorry, yep. Uh, well is one of 29 electricity distribution businesses across uh, New Zealand, our neighbours, the Lions Company, Waipa, Power Co, all in this Waikato region. Uh, well Group is owned through the Well Energy Trust, so 100% community owned. <coughs> we connect over 100,000 customers to a, an electricity supply. We maintain just over 7,000 kilometres of overhead and underground lines. 70,000 businesses and homes have one of our smart meters installed. That's important. Well Networks and its subsidiary owns, builds and operates $784 million worth of um, electricity infrastructure. 360 people working out of our depot in Hamilton to deliver uh, work across electricity services to our communities. Covers qualified field workers doing the mahi, electrical engineers, IT and OT teams, an EV charger business, a bit quiet at the moment, uh, solar and battery developers, design and planning teams along with office uh, functions. Being community owned, we're all whanau and there's definitely a sense of pride in our culture. Beyond our own staff, many organisations in the industry are chasing the same set of skills with a limited pool of resource and an ageing workforce. The industry must attract younger people in new roles to ensure we keep the lights on. Um, while we keep our people in the field, um, that we need them out there to make sure our network stays uh, resilient and safe, things are changing in the office. Increasingly, investment decisions are made on smart meter data. So a few years ago, many industry participants embarked on a journey to get visibility of the low voltage network through smart meters. Without these devices, we'd simply have to continue to build more lines and poles to match demand. With the result of access to data, new roles are emerging as a necessity for the energy industry. Having the ability to capture, cleanse, and interrogate near real-time data is not a skill set that was prevalent some years ago, but critical today for the management of investment decisions. If we didn't have this, these insights, you, take, you consider the electrification of transport alone. We've had partners of performance in Deloitte's look at our network, and if we did not enable smart EV charging and have insights through um, smart meters, we'd have to spend another 800 million on our network alone. Nationally, 20 to 30 billion. The future of the uh, energy industry will, will significantly evolve with the electrification of everything. We're observing renewable generation development in the North Waikato area, with a number of large-scale solar farms being consented. New Zealand's first utility-scale battery was built near Huntley and commissioned late last year. A second battery has been developed near Ruakaka in Northland and announced yesterday another battery at Glen Glenbrook. Um, this is following a trend seen in Australia where intermittent renewable generation, solar and wind, requires storage to support it, such when it's not blowing wind and it's dark at night. Uh, residential solar is now at a price point where it can make economic sense for homeowners to invest. There's evidence coming out of, a Christchurch, uh, coming out of Christchurch of battery technology development that has the potential to be a game changer with, with a lower price point. These indicators highlight an inflection point where we'll see a significant uptake in distributed renewable generation rather than centralised generation. The decisions of mums and dads around the dining room table as to whether they're going to install solar on the roof, buy an EV, or invest in smart appliances are driving the new energy future. Energy flows and networks are now multi-directional and providing challenges for the management of that energy which requires data to support wise investment. No longer are these decisions solely made by large generator boards, the power is shifting to the dining room table. Our challenge is to ensure we have the right people and skills in place to unlock our energy future. Our, our meaning our community. Our meaning every single person in this room. We all have a role to play. 
The industry is employing data scientists, software engineers, highly skilled technicians, AI specialists. I was talking to one in um, Texas this morning. These sort of roles are required in order for our community to thrive. Electrification of everything is not going away. It will only gain pace. Whether that being mass adoption of EVs, electrification of process heat, or even heat pumps in schools, none of this is going away. And we all have a role to play across every single industry you hear from today. Thank you.